If you clicked on this video, you more than likely fall into the most people category, the 68.2% of us who did not win the genetic lottery and are not the exception to the rule. So if you're trying to get rid of acne and you're tired of it and you're trying to get closer to flawless skin, make sure you watch the full video because the gems will be dropped. You're welcome. I need to give you a little bit more context before I start dropping these gems. Now, before I really got serious on my skincare journey, I used to have a Door the Explorer treasure trail of acne and hyperpigmentation on my forehead. I kid you not, looking like the North Star. And it wasn't until I really got serious and started doing all the things that I shared in my lifestyle and diet videos that I saw a noticeable and crazy difference in my hyperpigmentation and acne. I kid you not, I have not seen a pimple on my forehead in over a year. So I know the tips that I share is working. But for some reason, at this big age, I am still experiencing acne on my cheeks and chin area. And I'm over it. It's a no, 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 no for me. I mean, I wanted to see it. I mean, I wanted to see it. I had to do a little and and I'm here to report, so let's go. I got my hands on this 167 page ebook by Richard Wolfstein called Annihilate Your Acne. Now, I don't know who this man is. Sorry to this man. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. But what I do know is that I follow facts receipts and common sense and he's given me all of that so i'm going to share the key takeaways from this book so that we can all get closer to perfectly imperfect flawless skin so let's get into it there are two main causes of acne the first main cause is chronic inflammation you're gonna see me looking down a lot because i'm reading excerpts from the book so i just want to share that you know <laughs> but uh Let's continue. The three main causes of inflammation are ingestion of harmful substances, poor nutrition, and leaky gut syndrome. If you haven't realized, I'm getting to the gems, and so make sure that pen and paper is out and that like is going up because the gems have already started being, been dropping, okay? And so, all of these unhealthy foods and chemicals Flooding into your body cranks your immune system up to a state of hypervigilance. It responds with overwhelming force to even the slightest hint of a threat. Even the most miserable trace of bacteria gets treated to a bombardment of chemicals, and that's exactly what happens to pea acnes. The acne bacteria becomes the victim of this insane immune system, and so do your pores. Acne has been born. Chronic inflammation causes free radical generating machines to continuously roam around your body. There's so many that they completely overwhelm your antioxidants and leave your squalene defenseless. Basically, if you have chronic inflammation and you don't fix it, you will never cure your acne. It's as simple as that. Chronic inflammation can worsen almost every single factor behind acne. Cooling down inflammation must be your absolute top priority. Huh? Gems. Psh, psh, psh. So let's get into the second main cause. We're going to keep things going. So the second main cause is squalene oxidation. But I don't want you to get confused with squalene, which is typically found in skincare products. This is squalene, which is produced in your sebum and it's just naturally occurring. So sebum is vital for maintaining the acid mantle of your face. The barrier that keeps harmful pathogens and bacteria from invading. When sebum oxidizes, it creates the most perfect environment for bacteria to thrive. For the sake of keeping the bacteria out, your body has to prevent sebum oxidation. Luckily, it has an excellent way of doing so. All sebum that is created by the sebaceous glands is provided with built-in antioxidants, which prevent oxidation and allow sebum to carry out its good work. Specifically, your body likes to use vitamin E. Like other nutrients, vitamin E has numerous functions, but its main role in the body is an antioxidant. It particularly useful for protecting sebum because it is fat soluble. 
Sebum is mostly made up of lipids, so a mere water-soluble antioxidant won't do. Vitamin E is also a particularly potent antioxidant, another reason why it gets the honor. If your sebum was working perfectly, then you would have enough antioxidants to protect against harsh elements and sebum oxidation would never occur. Most oxidative stress comes from free radicals. Remember that part, because we're gonna talk about this a little bit more later. Most oxidative stress comes from free radicals. A free radical is basically a molecule which is missing an electron in its outer structure. Its incomplete structure makes it highly unstable. The free radical is drawn to healthy cells like a magnet so that it can steal at least one electron and restore itself. The havoc of free radicals can extend to any part of your body and that includes your skin. Have a ton of free radicals rampaging uncontrollably and you are begging for your sebum to oxidize. Therefore, minimizing free radical exposure in both your diet and lifestyle is a critical part of your acne curing strategy. Wow. Okay, so let's kind of unpack some of this because we said a lot. Now, for most of us, acne is a nightmare. It is annoying, but it's also a blessing in disguise. We kind of have to look at it as the glass is half full, y'all, because when you have acne, it's a clear indicator that your body is going through oxidative stress that not only impacts your skin, but can impact other vital organs in your body. And so having this indicator, it helps us to know how to react. And so the key takeaway from this video, if you have not realized, is that you need to make sure that your free radicals do not exceed the antioxidant levels in your body. And so typically when you're acne prone, you are more than likely deficient in these key vitamins. You're more than likely deficient in vitamin A, C, E and beta cartone. You're probably thinking, well, I eat a well-balanced diet. How is that so? Well, free radicals produced by either stress or your environment, air pollution, by exercising, by what you eat, how you prepare your food, can enter into your body. And so if you are just human, more than likely you are experiencing some sort of free radicals. Even your body produces a small amount of free radicals on its own. But the key is to make sure that level never exceeds the amount of antioxidants. But because we know that people who are acne prone have these deficiencies, we have to double up and triple up on it because what we're consuming could be absorbing some of these nutrients, how we're living, if we're under high amounts of stress or we live in a major city can be producing more free radicals and entering those free radicals into our body. And so we need to make sure that we are doubling up on these nutrients. Now it is bigger than skin y'all. Like obviously this is a skincare channel. And so I focus a lot on skin, but these free radicals, again, do not only impact your skin, but free radicals can cause a multitude of damage to your body. It can cause inflammatory joint disease, asthma, diabetes, uh, eye disease, dementia, the list goes on and on. And so if you just want to make sure that you're living well, these are key things that you need to be aware of. And so if you are missing, again, the key takeaway is getting those antioxidant levels up. Like you have to get those up so that you can kind of balance out the free radicals that are occurring in your body. Hey, so it's future me. I just wanted to stop by because I know I mentioned a lot about getting those antioxidants up, which is great, but you also have to get rid of the things that are absorbing nutrients as well as causing free radicals. So things like sugar, excess carbs, hint, hint, make sure you watch that diet video. Those things you have to get rid of, especially in the early stages, because they contribute to inflammation, leaky gut syndrome, all of the things that we talked about earlier in this video. So be mindful of that. Back to the video. Now, let me tell you about this ebook. I just want to touch on it. This is the biggest gem. Like, I've literally just 
scrape the surface of it. This book goes so in depth about hormones. If you're dealing with PCOS or hormonal acne, it goes in depth about diet and all of these other things that can help you to manage and mitigate some of these symptoms. Now, I know everyone's looking for, oh, what can I apply topically? And that's great, but applying topical solutions can only treat symptoms. It will never treat the root cause of acne. And until you get to the root cause, you're in this never ending cycle of acne and hyperpigmentation. And if you haven't noticed, that is why I stress that so much on this channel. Yes, I love skincare, but I am more concerned with your health and well being because that is going to get you closer to your skincare goals than any topical solution could ever do. So let's make sure that we're prioritizing correctly. I also feel like there's so many skincare channels on YouTube, thousands of them, that focus on topical solutions literally thousands of them but there's not a lot of people that look like us that's talking about lifestyle and diet in this way and this is what is com impacting our community the most and so please please take this seriously and definitely start figuring out ways to incorporate more of these vitamins into your diet whether that is through what you're eating or through supplements, make sure you're incorporating it internally, <laughs> internally. And yeah, I really would appreciate it if you share this video with your friends and family. If you learned something new, if you was like, wait, I didn't think about that, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm share it with people who would be interested in this type of video and leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. If you are interested in trying these things, I also want to know as well. I'm still kind of torn about restarting the 30 day skincare challenge, which would highlight a lot of these things and kind of give like a guide and support because the last time I did it y'all was not taking it seriously and I don't like to waste my time. I'm still kind of thinking about whether or not I want to restart that in the new year. If you're interested in that as well let me know in the comments section but yeah guys that is pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap up. Thank you again and I will see you in the next one. Bye!